it's only one week until our big night, our 20th high school reunion. Uh, we have a lot to do tonight, so uh, let's get started with our committee reports. First, let's hear from our entertainment chairman. Tui? I've got great news. You're not coming? <laughs> I did it. Reunited for one night only. In their first appearance since our prom, I give you the boss sounds of the high fighter. Oh, All right, Tui, good it. job. Nice job, Tui. And the best thing is, I got them for the same money. So what do you want? A medal or a chest to pin it on? Sit down. <laughs> uh, next, let's hear from Julie Foster. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> Call me Wally. Well, as I'm sure you all know by now, we've decided upon a buffet serving, as opposed to a sit-down dinner. This way, people will be able to mix and mingle, rather than getting stuck sitting next to some dreadful person. Ooh. All right, Julie. Yeah, thank you very much. Any time, Wallace. <laughs> all right, let's hear from the Finance Committee. <laughs> Get what? Now we're going to hear a real well, When you're a kid, report. you can't wait to get out of school. But then 20 years later, Thanks you can't to wait to go back. We're totally in this house. Yeah. I guess it's kind of like when I go to Aunt Martha's. Yes, Julie? At first, I hate it. I think but then she gives me money, and I can't wait to go back. <laughs> hey, Wally, look. Danny Polino. Oh, I hated him. You remember, Danny and I used to live next door to each other. Yeah, until his house burned down. It was an accident. I remember how your father always used to compare you to him. He used to beat you at everything. Grades, sports, women. <laughs> hey, remember that time that your dad got a couple of tickets to the World Series and he took Danny instead of you? <laughs> Did I hear you mention Danny Polino? He's coming to the reunion. Oh, great. You know, these high school golden boys are the first ones to wash out in the real world. <laughs> I'd like to see that jerk top me now. He's president of the Ameritrans Corporation. A $200 million a year transportation company. Who asked you? Hey, looks like he topped you again. <laughs> hey, big deal. You think that bothers me? I'll show him. <laughs> hey, look what I found. Talk about a blast from the past. That picture was taken of us on graduation day. Amazing. I can't believe this was 20 years ago. Boy, Wally, you sure got old. <laughs> I want to get a haircut! Please don't make me... Go to the bathroom! I'll get a shot! Beaver, quick, give me some money before I lose it. Sure, how much do you need? $25. Stop it! $25? Why can't you go to Nick the Barber like I have since I was a kid? The guy's losing it, Dad. The last time I was there, he kept drinking that blue stuff he put the combs in. That's beside the point. I'm not paying $25 for a haircut. Do you know, for that kind of money, I could send away for a home haircut kit. No way! You're not gonna butcher my head with one of those things. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Beaver. And I was gonna bring you back one of those switchblade combs. Oh, and Dad, before you decide to do this, let me remind you of three little words. Home shoe repair. <laughs> Bye. Huh, yeah. I didn't know Mom could run that fast. <laughs> Wally, let me ask you something. How much do you pay for a haircut? 30 bucks plus tip. 30 bucks? <laughs> well, you'd think for that kind of money they could do something about all that gray hair. I don't have so much. Yeah, you do. Come on, everybody's got gray hair. I don't. Well, sure you do. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. Come here, I'll show you. Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, Cut that out. Stop. Stop. There you go. <laughs> gray hair. See? That's not gray hair. That's poster paint. I was helping Oliver this art project. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. What's wrong with you anyway? Oh, yeah, the reunion. Hey, I wouldn't worry about the gray hair. You know, I'll bet there'll even be some guys there that are bald. <laughs> you know, Beave, time goes by so fast. Do you realize that Johnny Unitas retired 15 years ago? I always thought Y.A. Tittle was a better quarterback. And he was bald. <laughs> that 
Ellen. Hmm. Mary Ellen, you know, I try to stay out of my boys' lives because it's none of my business, but I'm worried about Wally. Oh, so am I. Maybe you could knock him out of the doldrums by doing something spontaneous. You know, I like that dress for the reunion and this one when you surprise him and take him for lunch today. You're right. I'll do it. You are one of the smartest human beings of all time. <laughs> you don't have to butter me up. I'll take care of Kevin. <laughs> Look, Lumpy, we can't push back the reunion just because your wife can't fit into her dress yet. Hey, why don't you take your mother? <laughs> all right, all right. I'll talk to you later. You, Wallace. Uh, Julie, what are you doing here? Well, I just can't decide on what to serve at the reunion. And if your taste buds are as developed as the rest of you, this will be the party of the year. Listen, I, I really don't think that... Uh, Do you uh, want me to feed you? Oh, no, thanks. <laughs> you wouldn't like it. I'm a very sloppy eater. Oh, Wallace, you excite me when you're funny. Go ahead, taste it. Mmm. Mmm. <clears throat> very good. <laughs> but, um, they all look like chicken. Oh, it is. I like chicken. There's chicken Italiano, chicken Marsala, and chicken Tarragon. What's wrong with a little variety? Mm, that's right. What is wrong with a little variety? Uh, Julie, um, I got uh, all kinds of people to suit. And look at all this paperwork. Mountains of paperwork. Wallace, remember that night at the quarry? Uh, that was a long time ago. You're not going to tell me you've never thought about it. Well, once when I was building my rock garden. We can make it happen again. The quarry's gone. We'll dig another. Uh, Julie, listen, you are a very attractive woman, and I'm a very attractive man. But I'm a happily married man. Mary Ellen's not your type. We have two children. Accidents happen. <laughs> Julie, will you knock it off? Listen, you must know me well enough to realize that I would never do anything to hurt my wife and family. You're right, Wallace. I feel like such a poo-poo right now. I'm so ashamed of the way I've been acting. Julie, come on. We all get a little carried away sometimes. Now listen, a long, long time ago, you and I liked each other. But that was as far as it was meant to go. Says who? Wally, I... Uh, Mary Ellen! I, I was just tasting chicken. Most people use a fork. Yeah, Mary Ellen, wait! Come on. Come on, Oliver, be a man. Take off the mask and I'll give you a haircut. Uh, Dad, it's a nice day out. Shouldn't I be out playing? Oliver, I'm not asking you. I'm telling you, take it off. Uh, Oliver. Please, have mercy. No way! I saw what you did to the hedges. Yeah. Thanks, Dad, but uh, long hair's back in, you know. Peace, love, you can dig it, right? No way. Come on, why didn't you just pay for their haircuts? Yeah, maybe you're right. What am I going to do with the home barber kit? Send it back and get a cheery refund. But then I won't be able to keep the Ginsu knives. Oh. Hi, Beef. How's it going, Don Juan? Hubba hubba. Yeah, let's not talk about it, okay? Sure. You know, uh, you look like you could use a haircut. Beave, I saw what you did to the hedges. No, no, no. I mean, it's getting really shaggy back here in the back. Oh, really? Is it? Yeah, don't worry. I'll fix you right up. <clears throat> uh, scissors. Boy. Mary Ellen thinks I'm going through a midlife crisis. 
Well, you haven't been walking by the mirror without admiring yourself. <laughs> hey, look, just because I've been a little depressed lately doesn't mean I'm having a midlife crisis. Doesn't good old Wally, the rock of Gibraltar, deserve the right to wallow in a little self-pity? Well, sure. You can look upon your 20th reunion as a time for feeling old, getting gray, not being able to get up for those rebounds anymore. Says who? But there's another way to look at it. Yeah? What's that? Well, you can look at all the things you've accomplished. You're respected, successful, you have a wonderful family, and best of all, you have an incredible brother. We're gonna wear that other dress. No, I didn't get much use out of this one when I stopped by your office the other day. <laughs> uh, has anybody seen my cufflinks? They're in the box on the dresser like they always are. You know, forgetting where you put things is a sign of getting old. Oh, that's cute. And I suppose the clock has stopped for you. Are you guys still having a fight? Yes. No. Yes. No. No? Yes. Uh, Kelly, honey, why don't you run downstairs and watch Miss Hubley feed Kevin? Dad, you don't have to make excuses. I'm old enough that if you want me to leave, you can tell me to just get lost. You're a wonderful daughter. <laughs> now beat it. All right, now let's get this stupid argument over with once and for all. Do you really want to? Yes. <laughs> Wait a minute, do you, do you really think I had anything to do with that? Do you think that anything more was going to happen than what you saw? You really don't get it, do you? Julie Foster has been trying to steal you away from me since high school. We were best friends until I told everybody she had a nose job, and she's hated me ever since. I knew she had a nose job. That's right. You don't kiss with your eyes open, do you? Sweetie pie. Tonight's a special night. Let's call a truce. Why? Oh, come on, honey. Remember how we danced all night at the prom? We wished the slow numbers would never end. We never wanted to let go of each other. Remember? How could I forget? That was exactly two months after you took Julie Foster to the quarry. Everybody knows. I finally put Danny Polino away. I look great. The rental car looks great. <laughs> and Gert, you make me glad I'm a man. <laughs> go in there like this. Ah, when you walk in there, all the guys in the place are going to be wiping their chins. <laughs> now, don't be shy, girl. Swing that caboose. All right, all right, let's see who's here. Eddie. Chicken tarragon. Yeah, and why isn't there more of it? Ah, <laughs> yeah, top of the evening to you, Cleavers. Have you seen that big shot Danny Polino around? Hey, Eddie, where's Gert? Here. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, if she'd have looked this great when I first met her, she wouldn't have had to beg me so hard to marry her. No time for idle chit chat. Time to destroy Danny. Come on. that night at the quarry. Oh, it's so good to see you, Wally. It's been so long. Hey, I hear you're a lawyer now. What are you doing? 
Quit covering up that little eighth wonder of the world. Eddie? Eddie Haskell, great to see you. Wait, don't tell me you're Donnie, right? You haven't changed a bit, Haskell. Danny Polino, I'd like you to meet my wife, Geneviève. Bonjour. Enchanté. Uh, let's stop right there. Uh, I don't happen to see anyone of the feminine persuasion on your arm. No wifey? No. I'm afraid I haven't been as lucky as you are. I guess I'm more or less married to my career. Oh, well, that's right. What are you, uh, some sort of miniature golf pro or something? <laughs> no, I'm with the Ameritrans Corporation. I guess you could say I keep the wheels turning. How about you? Oh, I'm a president and owner of Haskell Worldwide Construction. I build bridges, skyscrapers, that sort of thing. Not bad. Well, who'd ever think you'd ever get anywhere? Certainly not your father. Hey, how is your dad? Beats me. I haven't talked to him since he took you to the World Series. <laughs> hey, big shot contractor. The floor caved in on that tree house you built for my kid. Now I gotta take her to the shrink three times a week. Oh, I don't know why I ever hired you in the first place. Nobody says you can't build diddly squat. Nice dress, Gert. Oh, Gert was my maiden name. Same old Eddie. <laughs> he got me again. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, that's right. Together again for the first time in 20 years, the High Fido! Get your motor running. Hi, Mary Ellen. Julie. Mary Ellen, I've got to admit something. I've been chasing after Wallace. No. Yes. Ever since you told everyone I got a nose job, I've hated you. Lately, I've tried everything to get Wallace away from you. But it's useless. He loves you. You've got a great man. One in a million. Julie, your nose came out real nice. Listen up, everybody. It's time for our snowball dance. And who better to start it off than our prom queen and prom king, Mary Ellen Rogers and Wally Cleaver, now better known as Mr. and Mrs. Cleaver. Mary Ellen, everybody's looking at us. Let's pretend we're happy. Have I ever told you how much I love the gray in your hair? I tell you no lie. Something deep inside of me's going to die. Hey, what are you guys doing? This is supposed to be a snowball dance. Fine. Just see if I head up the entertainment committee at the next reunion. I go 50 miles to rent this stupid thing. Yeah, you were right. I shouldn't have rented that car. Danny's always been better than me. Guess I just should have accepted it. Aw, Eddie. <laughs> Leave your 
your wallet in your other pants again. No. How about that? That little creep isn't president of Ameritrans Corporation. He hawks their cars. <laughs> Boy, am I going to rub his nose in it? Let's get out of here. What about Danny? Yeah, I don't want to hurt him the way he hurt me tonight. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy, which he is. You know, Eddie, you're a bigger man than he is after all.